it's one minute you're dealing with the tragedy and now here we are. Oh, he Bonnie Peters returns to Gresham's Oxbow Park. I wouldn't want this to happen to anybody else. Hi a year ago to the date she lost one of her seven children in the Sandy River. The tragic part is he just turned 13, uh, 23 days before he drowned. Aaron Peters had been at a youth leadership camp. Couldn't get a picture of him without him making a funny face. He just had his own little personality. And he is still going to help other people from drowning and suffering what he suffered. The water, his grandfather says, is something Aaron feared. If there had been a life jacket, he would have worn one. They did an amazing job. It's why his mom and the rest of the family from Port Angeles, Washington, work to put life jackets at water's edge. There's 25 on there right now. And there are dozens of others in storage for replacements. All different sizes. Mm -hmm. All, All the way even down to infant sizes. Life jackets go, it's the singular most important piece of equipment you can have when you go towards a body of water to recreate. On behalf of my staff and I and Metro, I just want to say thank you. The Wood family worked with Metro to secure this first kiosk at Oxbow Park, and there will be others. But his life has meaning still. They set up a nonprofit, the Aaron Peters Water Safety Fund, because his mom says many families can't afford what could save a child's life. Be saying, you know, you did an amazing job. We just don't want any other people to go through as a family what we've gone through. And if this kiosk here saves one person, Aaron's done his deeds here.